Hello, and thank you for watching Accelerate with Nerdio. In this video, I'm going to walk you through adding a desktop image in Nerdio Manager for MSP. This video is part of a series walking through installing the NMM application, deploying the first account, and creating and accessing a WVD desktop. Be sure to check the video description for the links to the other videos in this series, and always visit help.nerdio.net for access to all of our articles and videos. We'll go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to go into our account that we created and we're going to go to the desktop image section over here on the left. And so we have a couple things we can do here. One, we can add from an existing Azure VM. Let's take a look at those options. So we'd be able to provide the name that it's going to arrive in our resource group as. We can provide a description. The important thing here is that you're going to provide the URL link from that VM's managed disk. Again, right in this use case, we'd be bringing in uh, an image from an existing VM. So it's important to be familiar with those steps to be able to generate that URL. And then from there, you'll apply what type of OS is going to be on that machine, as well as the VM, the VM size and the OS disk. And then we have some really important functions here that we can play with. We can create that image VM as a Gen 2 VM. We can join it to AD or choose to not join it to AD. We can choose whether or not it creates the image object during this transition, right? So we could actually bring the machine over and then choose to image it afterwards. We can set things like time zone redirection and local time zone. And then these two are key as well. We can choose to uninstall the FS Logic app and the WVD agent during this uh, image uh, import. So it's important that we allow those to be removed, right? FS Logic and WVD agent if they're existing on that VM because the Nerdio manager needs to be able to actually configure those. And I highly recommend, you know, going through all of our documentation on this as well. And then you can also generate a local admin user account while this process is occurring. So that would all get filled out. We'd hit OK, and then we'd let those uh, actions occur. In our case today, though, we're going to use the Azure library to create this desktop image. So I'm going to click Add from Azure Library. We can see again, we're going to name it. I'm just going to call it um, WVD Image. I'm going to put the description as just WVD Image. And then the Azure image I'm going to use, just simple, I'll just grab the uh, 1909 EVD Office Pro, Pro Plus multi-session image. I'm going to size it just with these recommendations to start, knowing that I can size my hosts up later on. I will have it join AD. Um, I am going to let it create the image object, and then I'll leave my time zone options as is. And I'll go ahead and create a local admin user as well. And we'll just call that uh, NMM admin, and I'll put a password in real quick to complete that process. And there we go. So we've kicked off that action. That will take a few minutes. We can follow along in the details. And I will go ahead and hit pause and check back in as soon as this completes. Okay, that image is completed successfully. And we can see a few things about it, right? The name, the IP address, config details, uh, and the last time that it was updated or set in template status. So if we take a look here, we have some options. We can power it on. If we had made changes, we could set it as image. We can even clone it into another desktop image in parallel uh, or delete that image. So we'll stop the lesson there, pick up in our next lesson where we'll build a host pool from this image, and as always, visit help.nerdio.net for access to all of our content. Thank you.